Hey you guys, I'm here today and I want to do a video, but I want to do something that I haven't really touched on too much in the past. Something that probably very rarely gets touched on in practicing witchcraft and this, you know, path that we're on, our spiritual beliefs and, um, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have even thought about doing a topic on this discussion, but something has happened to me which has, you know, brought it to my attention. And, you know, I'm not saying that this thing happened to me just to bring awareness to me to do this, you know, specific video, but sometimes the goddess has a way of using the things going on around us, using the things that are happening to us in our lives, especially negative things, to open our eyes to other things, to see the bigger picture, if you will. And that's what's happened to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, jump right into it. Um, we're expecting rain here. And if it does start raining, I'm gonna finish up, but I'm not gonna, rush it or anything like that I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it out but um maybe we'll make it before the rain gets here but um I've already got a incense burning as you see and I'm just using it to clear our space and um I've told you guys this a thousand times I'm like a broken record but when you're working in nature you do not have to cleanse your area if you don't want to because Nature in itself is cleansing, but I always do. I've just been raised up to do like this, to work like this. And, you know, it's just, this is my liking. If you do things differently, that's totally fine. I always, always tell you guys to just follow your heart. That is the number one rule in practicing any religion, any idea, following any belief is, you know, just follow your heart most important thing so um i'm using this uh this is dragon's blood and it's to just cleanse the area of any negativity because i'm sure you can tell i'm here at my favorite location i'm in a different spot of the area and um as most of you know this is a local cemetery and um, it's an older cemetery so it's not used that often but recently it was used and just to be respectful the spot that I prefer is on the other side of the cemetery on the more the the north end and um, there's a tent up which means someone was laid to rest recently and just you know to give the family respect that person, their self-respect, I just felt that it was better to distance myself from that spot, but it's not due to anything negative. It's not due to any superstitions or anything like that. It's just simply for respect. So I'm in a, a different spot of the same location. And um, so I figured, you know, I would use the dragon's blood because, you know, there has been a lot of people in this area lately and you know energy follows people energy clings to things you know people places things you know everything holds energy and energy can be transferred so just to be on the safe side i'm just simply using this dragon's blood incense to just cleanse my little workspace here and i'm just going to stick it right here in the ground as I continue to talk. And um, I would like to also just say that um, I may be a little shaky, nervous. Um, I'm on some new medication and it's got me really, you know, I guess, you know, shaky. And if I do appear to be like that, it's simply because of this new medication. I just didn't want you guys to think, you know, because of you know, the circumstances here at the cemetery that I was scared or 
anything like that because I don't want to frighten you guys. I want you to know that a place like a cemetery, this is like any other place. You know, it holds energy. It holds, you know, intention. It holds vibration. And just because it's a place that we associate with death does not make it a bad or negative place. I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, I wanted to talk to you guys about practicing your craft when you have a illness. And, you know, it can be any illness for that matter, but what I'm, you know, wanting to really, really touch on is, I mean, a permanent illness, a disease, a disability, something that, you know, there's, there's no fix in this thing that you have ailing you, you know, you could be, you know, physically disabled, you could be mentally disabled, you could have some type of disease, you could have been in an accident or, you know, had some other type of injury that has changed you physically. And when I say physically, you know, that prevents you to do things and live your life as you did before this disease, before this injury. And, um, you know, I know some people are dealing with things that I have no idea about, but I myself, I have a degenerative spinal disease and I've had it for, you know, many, many years and I was unaware of it. And with this particular disease, as you get older and due to, you know, repeated use, work, exercise, whatever it is you do, you know, over time, the disc in your back simply, you know, just degenerate. And um, I'm to the point now where there's no treatment that can be done to fix my issue at hand so I'm gonna be going in for surgery in the very near future and because of that and because of you know since this disease has you know started progressing as I've gotten a little older in life I've had to learn to do things differently I can't stand up for long periods of time I'm plagued with chronic pain you know this past year has been the worst and you know I've been what I say slacking in my craft in my spell work in my spiritual work and I just wanted to touch on that today because I've had to have a self awakening and realize that just like you know that little saying practice what you preach the same message that I have been shoving down you guys' throats for the last few years, it has really, really dawned on me that, you know, I need to practice what I preach. And it's not that I'm telling you to do something that I don't do or something that I wouldn't do. It's not that at all. But like anything you do, a job, anything, when you do something over and over and over, it becomes like repetitive. It becomes like, I guess you could say, a second nature in a way because it's something that you know how to do, it's something that you do, and you could basically say or do it with your eyes closed. And I guess that's what's happened with me. And that is when I do my videos and I tell you guys, if you believe, you will receive. And those words were first spoken to me as a little girl by my grandmother. And I have the, I believe them, that's my motto. But with anything else, when you do something, say something over and over and over, it's not that it loses its strength or its meaning, but we just become so accustomed to it 
that we start to forget, we start to just, you know, we just do it because it becomes a habit. And, you know, I was meditating this morning and it just, you know, the goddess, sometimes she taps us on the shoulder, sometimes she tugs at our hair and sometimes she'll just grab your cheeks like a mom would do and, you know, she'll tell you, look, listen here now, this is what you need to do. And I had one of those moments. I had a aha moment. So I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on the whole practicing witch that is disabled, that has a sickness, a disease, whatever it may be, physical, mental, you know, whatever. It could be a new mom that has, you know, a newborn baby or a mother that takes care of a disabled child or a grown child that takes care of a aging parent whatever your i'm not going to say disability is but no matter what the the thing is the person whatever it is that is causing you to practice your craft differently than you used to practice it if you feel like you are losing your way if you are slacking i just wanted to share my thoughts and as i talk to you i'm just going to put a few things here at play first this is some sage spray with a few little crystals in it and i'm going to spray it above my head which as you guys know is your crown chakra and i'm going to talk about my my main topic of discussion within this discussion is manifesting and this is a disabled witch a witch that you know can't practice like she once did or he once did a witch that feels like they are slacking in their craft you know this is just a way to do things differently and this is what I have come to realize and I've started incorporating in my daily practice as you know we have seven chakras and you know our chakras you know all of that intertwines because those are energy points everything everyone has energy these points are just spots throughout our body that energy is moving in and if one becomes blocked you know it will affect us different ways different chakras and usually in a way that is a sickness or something it will be your third eye or your crown chakra because they all kind of link together but those are the ones that you're going to want to concentrate on unblocking especially when you are trying to manifest and you know we're going to do this differently so we're going to spray this sage spray you know right here along our third eye and our crown chakra and this is just some moon water with some essential oil in it and this is an amethyst point an amethyst tower and I often use them as wands and I'm going to kind of unblock my own chakras and how I suggest you do this is to sit in front of a mirror and you could just simply sit on the couch sit on the floor just when you're alone and you have a few moments you know and you can use any stone but amethyst works best for me and you simply start at your crown and I start in a circular motion and I just move down and I'm gonna simply go down my whole body and I'm gonna come back up it and you would do this as many times as necessary but I say to focus on your crown and your third eye because for me those are the chakras that I embrace when I am trying to manifest an intention. And once I feel that I've got my energy moving, and I always, beforehand, I will meditate and I will cleanse and I will simply just wash my hands under some cool running water, no soap, just water. It can be in a spigot, a faucet, you just heard how country I am, didn't you guys? In a river, you know, in a stream, long as it's moving water, 
and or you can just pull your shoes off and sit down put your feet on the ground you know walk around in the yard barefooted that's grounding hug a tree you know walk around and just play with the leaves on the tree you know run your fingers across the flowers the grass just kind of embrace nature and once you feel that you have grounded you have cleansed you've got your energy moving a bit then that's when you're gonna sit down you don't need any ingredients you don't need anything but yourself and you have this thought in your head and it's something that really holds meaning for you it's something from the heart and when you manifest sometimes you do it unintentionally and I do often and what we do is we can get mad and say something like you know I'm so sick of this I wish you would just leave but in your heart you don't want that person to leave you're just frustrated at the moment and that anger you know that you have behind those words that anger holds power that anger holds uh, a key to open that door and get that in energy going and you don't want this person to leave you're just angry so you've got to train yourself to control your emotions which is very very hard to do or you have to take moments to manifest take moments to cleanse just take a moment a breath and um you know you can use stones i always use stones you can use herbs and this is some that i brought with me and this is something that is known as holy basil and i've got i've just got it here in my hands and i'm simply just gonna sit it right here by me and sometimes there's nothing to do you simply have something because it's essence it's energy assist you so what i say is when i bring something in and i'm not physically using it i'll say okay we've got this and it's in the background working and it's in the background working and you know i have all kinds of things i have crystals i have oils i have sprays i have wands i have all of these things that i don't necessarily need all i need is myself and this thing this thought in my mind and let me say this like i said with unintentionally manifesting something we can be upset we can be mad we can have a argument we can simply be stressing or worrying and that is me that's my problem i overthink things I'm self-conscious and I overthink things and I worry all the time which sounds like a typical woman right but um the first key to it is acknowledging it that doesn't mean you accept it that doesn't mean you're inviting it into your life it just means you're acknowledging it you know it's there you know what the problem is and by acknowledging it that's your way of saying okay i know what this is and i know i need to do something and me sitting here thinking and stressing and giving it all of this time and energy that i'm giving it by stressing over it you know i'm feeding it i'm giving it energy i'm helping it to grow and manifest unintentionally but i am so you know we've got to find us an outlet that you know will help us when those thoughts come just as quickly as we can we just need to like blow that flame out on that candle and then we need to come over here and you know this is just i'm just speaking symbolically we need to come over here and we need to light this other candle this other intention that we want to man manifest and it can be something as simple as you have a a loved one and they live really far away and you would love to go visit them you would love to be able to sit down and have dinner with them and you know see them face to face and you know hold their hand and hug them and you know just embrace them and their company and you know that's a, a good thing that's something you really really want that's something you desire 
that is an intention. And instead of thinking about these things, worrying over, you know, this pain that I'm feeling, worrying over the fact that I can't physically get out there and make a circle, you know, cast a circle or get out there and, you know, draw sigils or build a fire or, you know, whatever it is that you do, you know, in your spell work, you know, the physical aspect of it, instead of worrying about those things you can't do, what you can do is think about the things you did in the past, you know, that helped you manifest things that, you know, positive outcomes. Think of the things you did to show the goddess gratitude, you know, and as you're thinking of those things, you're going to feel happiness, you're going to feel love, you're going to feel desire to be able to do those things again, and in those thoughts, you are manifesting your intentions. So when you're down and out, your body won't let you get up and do your spell work, and you know, you don't have the money to go buy your tools, your ingredients, you can't physically go and pick your herbs or find stones or, you know, whatever it is that you were doing before to aid you in practicing your craft. You can't do that now. But what you can do is you can give that past intention, that thing that you did in the past that brought you happiness, that brought you positivity, that brought you success that helped you grow that helped you evolve that thing you can think of it and you can feel that feeling you can you know just if you will just swim in the past that past you know memory that brought you happiness and you know this is a good way to overcome grief as well and fear but today we're gonna just we're gonna manifest when we are, you know, disabled, when we physically can't do it, when we mentally can't do it, when we can't afford it, when we're having to put all our time in taking care of someone else, whatever the reason is that's causing us to slack in our practice, we're gonna simply, you know, we're gonna focus, we're gonna think, and we're basically just like when we were kids, we're going to daydream and those daydreams are going to be our intentions and those daydreams are our heart's desire and those daydreams we are manifesting through simply daydreaming. And I'm running out of time, but I just want to say, just give it a try. You know, we can all sit down and think about something, but instead of thinking about the shitty thoughts, Think about the happy things, the happy times. Just remember, remember those good feelings. And in doing so, you are unintentionally manifesting your intentions. And I've got to go, you guys. But always, always remember, if you believe, you will receive. Much love, you guys. Bye-bye.